Good morning, or should I say afternoon? I'm out at the garden, as y'all can see, got the manure teared in pretty good. Got a bunch of clay stirring, even though I've been tilling this in for about the last uh, nine, ten years. It's, this spot right here is a newer spot. Made it a little bit bigger about a year, two years ago. Clay stirring showing up real good. I got uh, tomatoes. Watermelon, squash, and cucumbers. I got a uh, cantaloupe, not cantaloupe, uh, okra soaking. It was soaking for three or four hours. <clears throat> and then I got uh, a green beans. I think we're going to be planting today. And I <clears throat> did my best to show you how I did my tomatoes. I did them a little bit different than some people. Because the top store here is about a quarter of an inch, and the rest of it's all clay. So I have to dig a hole in the ground and backfill it. And I did it. Started from this edge, working my way on down that way. So that way my till I have more dirt, good dirt to get to. I uh, see, for me it'd be a few minutes, for y'all be just a few seconds. I'm going to head and get the hoe and uh, hold the air on my <clears throat> the MSB. As you can see, this has to be in up for nine years. You can see the clay all down in the hose. It ain't that deep. So what I have to do is I take my post hole diggers and dig out a little bit. So I backfill with some good dirt. And then I'm able to and then I'm able to plant my tomatoes and let them grow. Deep. Too deep. It's too deep. I don't have enough dirt to backfill. When I start planting them, I'll bring it back. I want some other plants. What I do is, I'm going to do my spoon. There it is. I take dips and salt. Get from Dollar Store or anywhere. One tablespoon. Some people say teaspoon. Some say teaspoon. Take one teaspoon. Take it all down the bottom of that hoe. Take some dirt. Put it in there. Stir it around. Whew. And you get your tomato plant. Break off the bottom leaves. I'll throw them in there so they can come up they can. Put the hole back in. Oh, I didn't have enough down in there, did I? Take it back out. Lay it down a little bit. There we go. That's better. grass out of it. I don't know about y'all, but this running grass, even though it looks dead, 
after it rained. This stuff will start rooting and turn green again. It's the pain in the yin yang. But that's what you do with your tomato plants. Or that's how I do my tomato plants. They do good. I got what, 11 more to do. So I won't bug y'all until I start my knees and stuff. I'll turn you back on when I get through the right, back. Garden. It's been a couple of hours past. Got two rows of green beans planted. I got two rows of tomatoes planted. And right beside it, I got two rows of corn. So that is two rows of okra. Then I got uh, three cucumbers, three straight neck squash, and two icebox watermelons. And then beside that, at the end over here, I got two rows of Mississippi Pro peas. Uh, I need to water it, which I did here in a little bit. I gotta go in the house. We're in behind. I still gotta get a bath, eat, throw the clothes in the dryer. I don't know if I said made a bed. I gotta make a bed. Oh, for the Ralph gets home. And I gotta head in the house here in about an hour or two to go to work. I appreciate y'all watching my video. Hope y'all are learning a little bit. If you have any ideas for me, hey, shoot me a line. I'm open to just about any idea. Like I said, thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye.